Hi, welcome uh, to the class of 2023. My name is Ed Feldheim. I'm the head coach of the Fairfield Prep Crew Team. I'm sitting here at Captain's Cove to bring you uh, an info session on the team and uh, try to give you some, some insight into what it takes to be a, a member of the crew team and uh, what our practices are like and what our seasons are like uh, and hopefully get some guys excited about coming out for the fall. So first off, uh, you know, rowing is a sport uh, that requires a, a good amount of dedication. Um, and a willingness to, to work hard. Um, the guys that tend to find the greatest level of success in this sport uh, are those that are willing to put a significant amount of work in. And it's very much uh, the amount you put in is, is the amount you get out of this. Um, we see a lot of freshmen uh, in particular, but even as guys get older, sophomores and juniors that come to the team, having never done the sport before, um, they can pick it up fairly quickly. Uh, and they can learn a lot uh, in a short amount of time and they can excel uh, uh, faster than, than perhaps um, in, in some of the more traditional sports. They might not have the, the hand-eye coordination for baseball or something like that, but rowing may be a thing that um, works with them. Uh, it, it can be a, a sport in which uh, we see a lot of guys come in um, with some good size or some athleticism or uh, just just sort of an eagerness to learn and, and they tend to excel pretty quickly. So um, I think this summer will be a little different in the past. We've had uh, more and more freshmen um, rowing at, at uh, as seventh and eighth graders uh, at some of the local clubs uh, in Norwalk or Westport. Um, I don't know what the, this summer will hold. So it could be that uh, everybody comes in with, you know, the same amount of experience, which is, which is pretty much nothing, uh, which would be fine. And, and we, we teach uh, a significant amount uh, of our first uh, fall and spring for new guys is just learning how to row uh, and, and how to do that together. Um, at Fairfield, we row uh, eight person boats. Uh, so that's eight guys uh, with oars in their hands, one oar each. It's called sweep rowing, uh, and then there is a coxswain uh, in the boat as well. So there's a total of nine athletes in the boat, um, and they all have to find a way to work together, which is uh, a, a unique project. Um, I think it takes uh, a willingness to sort of be empathetic and work with others, uh, and also a, a drive to, to be your best and continue to, to work through you know what can be sometimes really fun and sometimes frustrating as, as you try to figure out you know, how to do something with seven other, eight other guys at the exact same time. Um, we spend that first year doing a lot of learning, a lot of teaching. Uh, we, we hope to have guys enjoy the sport and catch on to it and then really learn how to do it over the next uh, two or three uh, years. Um, so we, we tend to run uh, two, two boats filled with freshmen or new athletes. Um, we'll call those uh, novice. Um, if you're new to the sport, you're, you're a novice. Um, and as you can see, uh, it can get a little windy out here sometimes, but I'm sitting here at Captain's Cove, um, which is where we row. Uh, it's a uh, place that I think is familiar to a lot of people in the Fairfield and Bridgeport area. Um, and so we have this great stretch of water. We're the only team on the water here. Uh, fall tends to be a really nice period of time. Uh, it's pretty calm. It's pretty uh, uh, nice weather. Um, spring, you know, we sort of get, uh, although this spring has been beautiful and I, we all wish we could be out here, uh, spring we tend to get a little bit more cold in the beginning and then it, you know, really, really gets nice as we go. Um, so the crew team is made up of uh, 55 athletes in the fall uh, and then 45 in the spring. We do run two seasons. Uh, the, the reason for that is kind of our, our spring is our championship season. Uh, it, it's uh, sprint racing. Um, and I can certainly talk about that more, but it's essentially, you know, boats line up on a starting line. Somebody says start, a horn goes off, a uh, flag drops, and they all race to the same finish line. Uh, in the fall, it's a little bit different, uh, and that's what's called head racing. Um, and so if anybody's familiar with, like, cross-country running, it'd be a little more similar to that uh, in that um, you're out on a river, uh, and everybody's kind of running down the same course, which is two and a half, three miles long, um, but you don't all start at the same time. You, you sort of get a running start, you go across a, uh, a starting line, you get on a clock, right, and then you complete the two or three mile race uh, 15, 16 minutes later, and then how fast you've done that 
is how the how the winners are determined, right? So they, they rank everybody uh, down from there. Um, so fall racing is, is a little bit more um, uh, long, I guess is the best way to describe it. Uh, it it's uh, certainly not the same energy that, that a uh, sprint race requires, uh, but we get a lot of that fun stuff going on in practice. We race boats against each other a lot. Um, we, we have a lot of inner, inner team uh, competition that goes on. Uh, and then over the winter, um, as guys think they you know like the sport uh, and they want to train over the winter, uh, we offer full full season winter training where we're in the weight room uh, multiple times a week, and then we're on the rowing machines, uh, ergs. Uh, some of you are probably familiar with those. You've seen them in the gym. Maybe you've been on one before. Um, we're on those you know between four and, and six days a week. Um, so it's a lot of training, right? It's a serious uh, uh, effort to become good at this at the program. Um, but, you know, we've had some guys go off and do really wonderful things. Uh, we have athletes rowing at, at a number of Ivy League schools, uh, a number of, uh, you know, beautiful institutions, Notre Dame, St. Joe's. Uh, I don't want to leave anybody off. But, uh, you know, we've had some guys really uh, do, do really well with the sport in high school, move on and, and, and excel at the collegiate level as well. So, um, you know, it's a great program. I, I think it's a, a really wonderful sport. Um, I think it really works very well with the, the ideals of a Jesuit school. Uh, it, there's, there's no way to get away from being a man for others when you're in a boat uh, with eight other guys and you're trying to accomplish that same goal. So you just, there's no way to be selfish. You have to really think about each other and, and work with each other. Um, and so I think for a lot of guys, it's one of those sports that, you know, once they start to do it and they begin to understand it, it really clicks with them. Um, so I'm available uh, for any questions that anybody has. Uh, you can reach me through the Fairfield Prep uh, Jesuit Pride website, and you can, you know, ask any question that you have. Um, if there's anything I can do in the meantime, uh, please reach out. Uh, we do have guys training, you know, on the ergs right now uh, as we try to supplement, you know, as best we can with, uh, with the circumstances. Um, so there are things that I can, you know, sort of somewhat direct via email, you know, and give some, some guys uh, some ideas of things if they want to start, you know, getting in shape and, and working out. Um, if things do open up during the summer uh, and, and we are able to be a little more normalized, um, I really would recommend uh, reaching out to, to one of the local clubs, um, Maritime, Norwalk, um, some programs uh, up in New Milford, uh, depending on where people are, uh, GMS is a program up there. Uh, but if you have questions and you know you're sort of curious about where you might uh, get an opportunity to learn how to row, uh, Yale offers a program as I'm kind of thinking about it. Um, just please reach out and, and I'll be happy to direct you and I'll try to give you some idea um, geographically, you know, where it might make sense for you. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I hope everybody's doing well and uh, we're all just doing our best here. Uh, to uh, to follow follow directions and, and stay safe and healthy. So, um, thanks everybody. I uh, look forward to meeting all you guys uh, in the fall, uh, and we look forward to, to getting you on the team. And most importantly, welcome to Fairfield Prep. It's uh, it's far and away uh, the the best place you can be for your high school education. So, thanks. Appreciate it. Bye.